A special thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com, such as K2 Whoop De Doo Boogaloo Rama Lama Ding Dong, Dharma Wheelies, Otter Poppers, It's My Milk in a Box, It's Leon Motherfucker, Phone Losers of America, Gobi, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find out how to donate or support us at immoralhole.com forward slash contribute. Hello? Southburg, Tennessee. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. You got a uh, generator for sale. Do what? You got the generator for sale. Yeah, uh, yes. All right. How much you want for it? I'll take 200 for it. It's it's a dang good when it's 5,000 watt. Does it generate the anime arts? Do what? It's got the stable diffusion generator. I'm not understanding it. One of our phones is cut down. Is it a watt now? Well, let me see something. Let me, let me check one thing here. Look, my wife's on the other line here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Hi. Sounds, all right, she's there. Here, honey, you want to take the call? Ask them about the questions. Maybe my phone's broken up. Hi. I was going to use a generator to, to dry my clothes. Is it what? I need to use a generator to dry my clothes because my dry, my dryer's broke. Oh yeah, it's uh, it do that. It, it's uh, like I said, it's five thousand watt. It, it's a pretty big one. Yeah, you reckon to make my husband do some work if I hook it up to his balls? Do what, ma'am? I said, my husband, he doesn't do anything around here. I figure I'd give him a little shock. Yeah, where do you live at? Oh, I live in town. Right where? above the cafe. In town, right over by the cafe. Boss Lake? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, you need to just come and look at it and, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna put a saddle, a saddle on the generator, kind of ride it around. Is that a good idea? Do what? Can I put, can I put wheels on it? Wheels? I'm just not understanding you, I'm sorry. I said I'm going to turn it into an automobile. I want to put some tires on it. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I was going to make me a... I was going to make me a cheap Tesla. See, I I can't charge. No, you know Elon... Elon, he makes the Teslas. I don't have electricity, so I was going to put the generator on the back of a Tesla. Oh, yeah, it would uh, it'd run a trailer good. It'd be good for a... Uh, yeah, you could mount it on a trailer. It'd work good for that. No. Uh-huh. So what you want for it? Two hundred, two hundred dollars. Uh, I got these uh, frogs. I stuff them. I can give you like ten frogs. They're cute. They got like a little sunglasses. And, uh, they got a. Uh, little stars. I got one that looks like Superman. He's got a little cape on. Yeah, you really just need to come and look at it. I'm just having a lot of trouble understanding you. 
Yeah. We live oh, a like, lot of people say that. Five balls yeah. west of Do what? You said five balls. We're five miles west of Clinton on the I-40 north side. Five five balls west of Bill Clinton. Okay, got it. Do um, what? Maybe, maybe, maybe you should talk to my husband. Hello? I'm, uh, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I shook I hear my you. phone around. Well, there were some nuts and bolts inside, and I shook it up, and it seems to clear it up. So I couldn't hear you right before. Okay, I hear you pretty good now. Oh, good. All right. So you got the generator. Uh, it was because it got an inverter on it. I have what on it? Well, it got the inverter. Is it inverted? Can I invert it while it's running, or is it because it got to be on the ground? Well, I guess you, it's portable. You can put it anywhere you want it. Can I shove it up your ass? Uh, hello. Ah, uh, you got the 40 foot container? Do what now? You got the flatbed trailer? Yeah, I've got the flatbed trailer. All right, then. Now, can you fit uh, horses on that? You don't. It's a flatbed. Right, but I want to parade them around town. Dude, go fuck yourself. I, I am right now. <clears throat> yeah. Hello? Yeah. Kevin? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Wait, you know, hello? I'm, I'm looking for the items you have for sale. Yeah, which, which one you want? I was interested in the flatbed. Okay. You just called me from a different yeah, number while I go. No, um, I was thinking of taking your mom on a date, and I needed the flatbed to get her into the restaurant. Yeah, you go fuck your mother, you fat piece of shit. Hey, now, don't talk to Hello? Yeah, hello. Who's this? Gerber, who's this? Uh, this is Christy. Uh, I think you might got the wrong number. No, you're the one I'm looking for. I want some of those miscellaneous items you got for sale. Uh, yeah. What you still got? I know you still got a couple of things you're selling. What you got? Is this a crank call? God damn it, bitch. This is Teresa. Leave your name, number, and a short message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. You can leave one. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, okay. you may hang up or press and 1 for more. After. Hey, yeah, I need those goddamn storm drawers because I just graduated from home last year ago from my degree in walking fees with a minor in the water and the snow and the mountain and the air. I also a dentist that fixes feet at the wet when I'm wind to sleep, and so I think the desire would be pretty good for my since she doesn't have kids. And I, as I was saying that my twin uncle was like uh, walking meatless dogs come to find out the dryer was wet from folding dishes because the kitten dog was mooing. Thank you. If you are satisfied with your me message erased, at the tone, please re-record your message. Oh. To hang up your message, press one. Uh, goddamn storm drain door. I needed because, you were not because speaking um, or because I of a bad know. connection. That was by the seashore. Hello. Yeah. You still selling those items? Yeah, I've got. What do you need? And I got gun safes. I got a gooseneck trailer. I got a golf cart trailer. I got uh, display cabinets. I would like the display cabinets. 
Okay. They're uh, I'm gonna. I need a display. So, what kind of display is it? Is it about knee high? Is it is it a whole cabinet that kind of goes up to the ceiling, or what kind of kind of display cabinet is it? They come out of a dispensary, a marijuana dispensary. They're 32 inches tall and they're eight foot long, and they're all glass. Oh, so it's like those ones you see in the stores and such. Right. Okay, you, you see, I'm going to need it because I'm going to put my dildos in it, and it's going to go at your mama's house. Like my foot's going to go up your ass, too, butthead. You ain't going What do you want? We got disconnected. What happened? I disconnected because of your smart-ass remark. I mean, you can come watch if you want. Why don't you go fuck Hold yourself? On. Hello? Yeah, are you still selling those items? Yeah. What do you got what do you have left? Well I got a I got a washer and dryer the set. Yeah, yeah, and I got a uh a uh a red one. That's a washing machine. Hmm, washing machine. Yeah. Do what kind what, so does it have different speeds? Does it does it do hot, wet, cold? It probably does. Warm. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are uh, these are not cheap. I mean, uh, they're whirlpools. What they are, whirlpools are good brand. Oh, so they don't they don't make a lot of noise or move around that much. No, no. Can I come take a look at it? Yeah, where you at? I'm not too far. I'm about a stone's throw where the crow flies. Uh, I was just wondering though. Can I put? Can I sit your wife on it and put a bowling ball in the dryer and have your wife sit on it and just turn it on turbo? See what yeah, happens. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. <laughs> nah. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, it's an honest question. I know it. <laughs> I heard his mama. I heard his yeah, mama has uh, four holes like a bowling ball. Does it? <laughs> well, I'm here in Mangum. That's where I'm at. Um, well, then I'll sit you on it and turn it on and see how you like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. You sound like you like that a lot. Nah. He likes, uh, he likes the vibration. Do you ever wash yeah. your panties in the washing machine? Yeah. Yeah. Do you wear Victoria's Secret? No. <laughs> what's your... What's your Underwear of choice there, sir. I don't know. You're asking a serious, you're asking a goofy question. You sound like a goofy motherfucker, so go ahead and tell me. What's your favorite color underwear? Well, it's blue. Wow. Uh, wow. What color are you wearing right now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not well, wearing any underwear right question, now. You're asking a stupid question, dude. You're asking a stupid question. You're asking a stupid, asking question, a stupid dude. question, dude. I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Well, it's your problem, well, ain't it? Not mine. It's your can problem, you, ain't it? Can you take your pants and panties off? No. Actually, leave your panties leave your no. panties on, because I ain't gay or nothing. Well, I, do you want to look at this yeah. thing or not? You want to get this I'll be thing there. Tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll call you when I'm on my way. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Have a good night. Mm. All right. Bye. Mm. Bye. 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 You have reached David God Craig Hilliard. At the tone, please leave your message. Jeez.
At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Oh, who'll get a callback? Hello, I'm calling about the pecker that you had uh, listed on over here in the goddamn listing. Yeah, I need you to give me a call back. Uh, how much is the pecker? How big is the pecker? Does it have a, a diet? What kind of pecker diet does it have? Okay, bye. I gotta go. Hello. hello? Yeah. yeah, hello. Yeah, I, I need those items you're selling. Uh, just a minute, would you please? I'll just love to talk to this guy, okay? Hey, Joe. Yes, please. Come here. Joe, Mama. He's coming, you can talk to him, okay? Thank you. Here. Just hello? Is that hello? Joe Mama? Uh, hey. Hello? Yes? Yes. Is, yeah, so you still selling those guns, or what was it that you were selling? Uh, I didn't have any guns for sale. I had some, like, some old, like, uh, USDI mess kits, some of them from the 1940s and stuff like that. It, Oh, that's good for a school project I'm doing. I need oh. it. Okay. Okay. You, you, don't... you see, uh, my major, my major is walking freeze, and my minor's in the water and the snow because I'm out mopping air. I'm also a dentist that fixes feet at the vet when I'm wind to sleep. So uh, I think I, I desire would be pretty good for my my mom because she doesn't have kids. Well, I think you're just messing with me, man. I don't know, but I mean, you don't even know what I had for sale. I don't understand this here. As I was saying that my twin uncle was walking meatless dogs, right? Come to find out the dryer was wet from folding dishes because the kitten dogs was mooing. Them kitten dogs didn't stop mooing, so somebody had to help them last year finish the spinach from the blanket. Hello? Wait, no, it's Dwight. Dwight. What? What? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hi, this is Jack. Jack who? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the stuff you have for sale. You're jacking off over there like a motherfucker. Who? Ma'am? Hello? What are you doing? Why aren't you speaking? She's selling nuts. Ma'am, you have the fresh nuts for sale? <laughs> How? <laughs> what do they call it? Oven? Son of a bitch. If you oven. Hello? Huh? I say, what do you want, you son of a bitch? Hey, I you goddamn you. motherfucker. Who you talking to you. like that? No, oh, Twice uh, doing kettles. Hey, I'm, doing, I'm doing kegels on the phone. I'm doing kegels. Hello? Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi. Do you have do you have the weights for the kegels? I don't understand you. What type of what type of weight bullet are you selling? I think you got the wrong number. I think you're stupid. Now listen to me carefully, okay? What size weight are the bullets? Are they the trap or what? Tell me. Yeah. Yep. Hey, how you doing there? You you got time to answer the phone now? I got some questions about the items you're selling. Who is this? It's, it's Dwight over here. Listen, I just moved here from Trenton, New Jersey. And if I don't get, I got to get some protection on these balls. You know what I'm saying there, Chief? Okay. I'm just a little hyperactive over here. I'm, I'm out of my elements over here. There's too many, I, there's too many fucking trees. I've never seen this many trees before. 
You got these like you got these big four legged fucking dogs running around that got like they got like big yeah. Hey. Hello? Hey. Hello? How are you? Yeah. Tell them we need the hay. We're gonna roll in the hay. Are you wearing a tight top? Are you looking good? How big are your ass does it? Hello? Hello? Hi, you got hay for sale. Yep. Alright, I see you got the four by fours. Yeah. How many? How many you got left? Oh, uh, probably eight or nine, oh, eighty or ninety. Uh, probably eighty or ninety. All right. All right. I could I could probably do for. Uh, uh I could probably do for. Uh, thirty, forty. Thirty, forty. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. How, okay. where, how we do this? How how I, you uh, want cash uh, money? Yes. Yeah. Cash money. Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Where do I go? Well, let me put my where GPS do I go? on here. I'm gonna put my GPS on here. What what's the address? Well, how, what's the address? Oh, I don't know about that, but. Uh, oh, a bunch so. of damn drunks talking about hey. Yeah, there's a bunch of damn drunks calling. Hey, I'm this. not drunk, goddamn you. Nah, you I'm sound not like drunk, a motherfucking goddamn. drunkard. You sound like a motherfucking drunkard. Do you want to roll with me in the hay? Do you want to roll with me in the hay? Come on, let's roll in the hay together. Come on, let's roll in the hay together. Hey. Hey. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, you got the aluminum soffit? Hello? You got yeah, it? Right, I do. All right, you still got it. Yeah. All right. How much you want it for it? Ninety dollars. And what is it's brown or is it like is it like like how brown is it? What is it? What shade of brown? It's called musket. Was that like a, a doggy or a horsey a, color? The royal brown is shiny. This is musket brown. It's uh, not quite so shiny. So it's a musky color? Yes. Is it the same color as uh, like a doggy duty? Yes. Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll go along real nice with all the dog shit I got in my yard. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You got any dog duty there that I can buy? Listen, you're going to get turned into authorities tomorrow. Oh, no. So this shit's going to stop. Oh, no. This shit's going to stop. Is it Hello. Hi, uh, you got the fly reel? Yeah. Pole? Oh, how much you yeah. want for it? Uh, three fifty for the case and uh, the reel and, and the pole. And for all three? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, what if we part it out? Can we part it out? Maybe I just want the real. Uh, is that all you want, the real? Yeah, just the just the part that it spins around on, just the pin there. Uh, I mean, it's a two hundred something dollar real. I'll take a you know a hundred for it. Hundred dollars for the real. All right, let me put my brother on. He knows more about it. I, I, he, I'm trying to fix it like I'm I'm the, the crafty one, but he's the, the brains of the operation, so to say, because I'm, I'm a dummy. I'm a dullard. Right. Oh, don't talk bad about yourself like that. <laughs> I'll be over here touching my things. Yeah, you touch them. That's what they're there for, for you to get all touched up on them. Sir, I'm working on my car. 
Yeah. I got a two wheel car. I'm getting I'm greasing the chain of my car. Yeah. Huh. Which what you got again? You got that fishing stuff, right? He was trying to get you to part it out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's a cheap son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, he was at the he was at the CVS trying to convince them to give him half a toilet paper roll. <laughs> he's only cheap. Yeah, I just uh, I got the pole and the reel and the, and the uh, it's all brand new. It's never been used in in, in the case. You know, the case is like two hundred something bucks. God damn! Uh, I told him he could just find himself a stick and like tie a string on it and fish old school. Right. Uh, Say so if it works in Minecraft, it should work in real life. <laughs> you ever you ever get playing that Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just go out in the middle of a field and build yourself a house? Ain't got them no. regulators coming by doing inspections, telling you you can't build a house in the middle of anywhere you want. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> so you interested in the pole? In the real? I mean, the mm -hmm. whole. Uh, yeah, we're interested in all of it. Most interested in uh, uh, squatting on any public lands you might know about around there. Yeah. I'm on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some milk crates like those plastic ones. I'm going to mm -hmm. pretend like I'm playing Minecraft and I'm going to make myself a house out of them blocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to make myself a little pickaxe out of wood. And I'm going to start digging up your front yard looking for diamonds and stuff. <laughs> you sound like you're okay with all that. Yeah, I'll be fine with it. Okay, so you don't mind I'm, I'm going to build a makeshift house on your property and then start digging in your front yard looking for stuff? See, like no. Le la Jule. <laughs> I got that. You know what that Le Pied la Jule is? That, that uh, nice looking blue purple stone? Yeah. You do? No, I ain't never fooled with it. Oh, my seventh grade science teacher, she uh, was really into it. She got all aroused when she talked about that Le Pied La Jule. <laughs> so you said you was going to give it away for free? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, my brother's uh -huh. still touching stuff. I don't know. I don't know if he even remembers why he called you. You got the pole? Yeah. Yeah, I told him you buy, buy the pole. Yeah, ask him about, you know, how, how, like, what kind of wood is the pole made out of? All right. Okay. You heard him. What kind of wood is it? No, I don't know if they, I don't reckon it's wood. It's an Orvis oh, pole. That, no, is it made out of, is it repurposed panels from the Mir space station? Is that what it's made out of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You ever do some, mag you ever do that magnet fishing? No. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. So you get yourself a real powerful magnet, tie yourself a nice strong rope to it, and throw it in the water, 
and then it grinds on the ground and, you know, on the floor of the water or the river, whatever. And then you pull it up and there'll be like old spoons and forks and Civil War memorabilia like cannons and old hip replacements and all kinds of things you find. Right. Mm-hmm. You can get rich that way, I reckon. Yeah, but you got you any can. dirty bodies of water? You got any dirty lakes or rivers around you that you can uh, go magnet fishing in? I'm sure we're going to find one. Hmm? I'm get sure yourself magnet- on YouTube. Yeah, get yourself on YouTube. You can watch some of these guys magnet fishing. Yeah. Now, whatever... Now, whatever you find, I'm going to charge you 50% because uh, <laughs> I taught you all about <laughs> So what do you do? Huh? What do you do? I mean, How do you money make? Paint. Oh, you paint? Like Picasso yeah. or you paint houses? Houses. Hmm. You ever do any murals, like on the on the ceiling? No. No. Did you go to school, learn how to paint? No. <laughs> Who was your art teacher? Who taught you how to paint? Uh, myself. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. You went to, like, a class at the Home Depot? Yeah. Yeah, you know, those are scams, because I went to one to teach you how to lay tile, and at the end of it, they're like, so you can see that laying tile is actually quite difficult, so we offer installation services at the Home Depot. See? It was, they were just trying to convince you that it was difficult. Trying to take <laughs> your money. Yeah. So what you going to do later? Do what? What you doing tonight? Are you drinking beer? No, I'm smoking fentanyl. Oh, you getting that Halloween candy fentanyl? Yeah. That's where it's at. See, when I was a kid, they was worried about razor blades in the candy. Fuck that motherfucker who came up with that idea because my parents made me check every goddamn piece of candy for a razor blade. That's like that motherfucker shoe bomber guy. Now he's the reason why everybody's got to take off their damn shoes at the airport. Don't you hate the shoe bomber guy? Hell yeah. Yeah, fuck the shoe bomber guy. And fucking people put shit in kids' candy. Yeah. You ever have one of them, like, really poor old people on your block to give you, like, a roll of pennies for Halloween? <laughs> or that uh, that that candy in the, the, the black or orange wrapper? It was a really cheap-ass candy, like a wax wrapper. Goddamn, I still don't know what that's called. They don't sell it no more. Probably made mm-hmm. out of horse testicles, for all we know. <laughs> well, you interested in the poll, what, sir? Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Oh, shit, the devil joined the phone. Sir, you got the devil in you? Hell yeah. Shit, fire. Was that you? Do what? Was that you talking like that? Is that your Halloween mm. costume? No. Oh. No, I think I, I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking that my house is haunted. Yeah. What are you doing? Are, are you typing on the internet? Are you in that yacht? Oh, shit. 
it's Rosemary's baby. Oh, well, sir. So how's that? What flavor is your fentanyl? Oh, it's it's cherry flavored. Hmm. Why don't you just drink like a real man? Why don't you just? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, sorry. I had to go to the bathroom while we was talking. Mm. Well, you have a good day, sir. Oh, is that is that? Oh my. <laughs> Got any recommendations for my ass? <laughs> yeah, blow that you fucking ass. Down. I'm touching myself. That's my sister. My sister in hell. Yeah, tell her to go fucking hell. Mm, yes. She is in hell because mm -hmm. she, she was a, a prostitute. Yeah, I fucked her once. See ya. Yeah. Well, that's not it. Um, put jumper cables on my nipples. She claiming you put jumper cables on her nipples at one point. Yeah, Is that true? Yeah, suck a dick, motherfucker. Why are you getting all angry all of a sudden? Is the fentanyl wearing off? You know, just weird, weird stuff. stuff. He is into weird stuff. Yeah, I have good credit. You want to talk to my sister? I think you got her pregnant. Did you two know him? Hello? Hey, whore. What are you talking about? Oh, you dumb bitch. It's got to be a goddamn recording. What? Hello? Hey, bitch. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're a goddamn bitch, cussing my ass like this. What? What? Fuck you. Go to hell and lose my goddamn number, you fucking idiot. Go fly fish in your ass. How do you know my number? Because you called me a while ago, you stupid bitch. What? What is my phone number? Yeah, it's one eight hundred suck dick. Okay, what is my phone number? Hello? Yeah, who's speaking? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What? Huh? How do you know my number? Who is it? What what is my phone number? I don't know. Okay, what is my phone number? I don't know. Eat shit. What is what is my phone number? Eat your ass out. Yeah, I'm getting phone calls. Nasty bitch. Hello. Oh yeah, eat that. What? Yeah. What? You fucking heard me. No, I'm not fucked up in the head, actually. Hmm. Why don't I come to the what? Mm. I didn't say I, that you talked about my mom. Mm. I didn't say that you did talk about my mom. Your mom's a piece of shit. You know what? What? Kim, I'm not playing your game. Fuck your game. I'm not playing your game. Fuck your game. <laughs> no, you know what? You're going to go to jail. No, oh, I am. You are. You're going to go to jail, you little cackling bitch. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. What time did you get a phone call from this number? Why? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Good. Bye, bitch. Well, I've got a cop car set right here, and I trust me, I ain't in any, any fucking drug. Do what? Because she says that shit all the time. Do what? You're in so much trouble, girl. <laughs> this ain't no girl, bitch. You are in so much trouble. She you're says that all the time. You're, you're in so goddamn much trouble. What the fuck is your fucking ass, you bitch? Are you still on a call with her? 
fucked up, you bitch. Goddamn moron, motherfucking idiot. Yeah. No, she's still on the call. Goddamn prankster. <laughs> hello. Well, hello, you selling electricity? You selling the wires, the electricity wires? What's that? You selling the wiring? Selling what? The wiring. The, wa the wa for about. the wires, for the wires, you know the wires that conduct electricity through wire. The wires. Yeah, the wires. There ain't got no wires. No, the wires on the fridge. Are you selling the wires? The refrigerator. Yeah, I'm selling refrigerator. Yeah, the wires good on the refrigerator. Yeah, it is. Okay, in the metal shelving. Yeah, they're not bad at all. It's a, it's they're not bad at all. Are they rusty at all? Because I want to conduct some electricity through the wires through the end of the shelving. Uh, they're good. I want to. I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna hook the shelving. Up to the up to up up to up to the electrical wires in the refrigerator, and I'm gonna sit it outside for Halloween. And I'm gonna put the candy on the shelves, and I'm gonna shock these little fucking kids who keep coming on my grass to get candy. Yeah, it's a beast. 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 Hello. 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 Yes. Hey. Um. Do you have any Do you have any other rooms available? I don't like the room that I'm in. Uh, what kind of room you looking for? I mean, single bed, double bed. Uh, I need one with like a king size, but the the California king, not the regular Midwest king. All right. Yeah. Well, I not don't the king of Th Not the king of Thailand room, sir. We need We need king of America room. Donald Trump yeah. room. Right, but I don't have any single bed left. I do have only double bed, and that is also a smoking. You have smoking? I don't have any. He wants us to smoke. He wants us to smoke in order to stay here. I don't want cancer. Yeah, I I just say no to to that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, sir. I do have only two rooms, but that's a smoking. It's up to you if you want. This guy's a fucking tobacco lobbyist. Yeah. Sorry, sir, sir, do you work for Philip? Night. Do you work for Philip Morris? You choose here. You have a great night, sir. Thank you. Hey, Sutmarani, what are we lying? I'm back. My name is Savannah. I'm back. The fuck you on? It's so hot. I'm touching myself. <laughs> yeah, well, stick your goddamn. Oh, you're me on your dick like a fidget spinner. Hello? The fuck you on, bitch? Hello there. Are you stroking it? Stroke your goddamn mouth. Okay, great. No. Uh, put it in my butt. Put jumper cables on my nipples. <laughs> yeah, I'm a well you got <laughs> shut, bitch. <laughs> Um, uh, um, vampire contact. <laughs> Dumb bitch. 
Hello? Hey, Hello? bitch. Why don't you go straight to fucking hell? I am. It's so hot and wet. Hey, hot shit, like bitch. the desert. Okay. Flatter me in cream corn and um, put jumper cables on my nipples. Yeah, I'm going to stick jumper cables. We should have a threesome. Okay. Mouth shut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Mm hmm. I'm not even wearing clothes. I want you to spin me on your dick like a fidget spinner. Hello there. Are you stroking it? Definitely. Cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? I don't know. Let me hit this goddamn tinsel on, I'll tell you. That's what I want to hear. I guarantee you do. What do you spend your money on? Fentanyl. What do you spend your money on? You know, just some weird stuff. Fentanyl. What? Um, what do you spend your money on? It ain't you, you dumb bitch. Um, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear your goddamn mouth shut. shut Quit calling my goddamn number, you fucking retard. Okay. No. Uh, put it in my butt. Oh, I can barely fit that. I'm so tight. Hello? Hey, were you talking to my sister just now? Hello? This old pecker. Hello? Hi, I'm in my I'm in my room and the person told me I had to drink all this alcohol to go do trick or treating. They said they came to my door and they handed me a bottle of alcohol and they said, if you want to trick or treat in the hotel, you got to drink this and wait an hour. And now nobody wants to give me candy. I knock on all the doors. I'm sorry, what room are you in? I'm outside in the hallway. I'm knocking on the doors and they won't open to give me candy and I'm getting really fucking pissed off. What room are you in? I'm outside 215, and these motherfuckers won't answer the door. I yell trick or treat. I'm not drunk, you're drunk. Open the door, you motherfucker. I'm gonna kick this door. Motherfucker. Fuck this door. Yeah, fuck this door. Uh, uh, Give me a candy. Give me the candy. Oh my candy! Give me the candy, all the candy. Huh? All they had was Twix in the whole goddamn room. That's all they had. What room are you in? I give them fireworks and all they give me is Twix and it's not even peanut butter Twix. So now I'm letting out fireworks in the room and I'm shitting in their toilet. They ran off and now it's going to smell like sulfur and shit.
Uh, I have fireworks. These are Halloween works. Uh, hey, was it a pretty lady that was screaming orgasm behind you earlier when I called? Hello? Put that screaming orgasm lady on. She sounds nice. Thank you for calling Daisy in. This is Dora. How can I help you? Oh my God, I love Hello? your TV show. I love your TV show. You gotta watch out though, cause Swiper, he, he's a fucking pervert. And he keeps trying to take your backpack. Hello? Do you need, this is a hotel. I, yeah, I know, I'm staying here. I'm in my, I'm in my room. And this guy came by in? and he had a, he, I'm in 215. He had a name tag on. He said he worked here. And he said if I wanted to There's stay in this hotel, in I had to, I, He said I had to drink a whole bottle of vodka and now I'm intoxicated and I'm Mormon. Well, this is in Paris, Texas. I think you're trying to call a different hotel. No, no, I'm in the hotel. I'm staying here three days and in three days and six nights. What is your name? And I'm, my name is Dwight, and I'm a traveling Mormon. I sell Bibles. <clears throat> Con, I mean, can I help you? Hello, ma'am. Yes, can I help? I'm in my I'm in I'm in my room, and, and let me be straightforward with you a little bit. I I'm intoxicated. But I have reason to suspect that in the room next to me, there there is a lesbian. What room you're in? I'm in two fifteen, and she's in two thirteen, and I I have reason to believe that she's a lesbian. Two fifteen. You're in two fifteen. Yeah, yeah, and my church wouldn't be happy. If they knew that I was in a room next to a woman that was a lesbian, half a lesbian, and a half owl. You're renting for one night only, right? Yeah, one one night, but you gotta kick, you gotta kick her out because you can't infringe on my religious beliefs. I can't kick her out. She rented a room for no reason. I cannot I, kick her out. But she's a, she, but you can't kick her out for being a lesbian. No. No, you're not understanding. She likes to have sex. She likes to rub her crotch against another woman's crotch, and it's a sin. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry, I can't. You know, you know when you know uvula. Do you know labia? Yeah. Hi, ma'am. I just opened the toilet and I saw something that made me scream. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus, Ardmore Inn and Suites. This is Amy. How may I help you? Asshole. Hi, Amy. Hi. What's going on? Working. How can I help you? Oh, uh, I was thinking about uh, coming in for my shift, but I was going to call out because you're already there. Who is this? This is Jack. I was supposed to start working there tonight, but since you're there, I don't think I'm going to start tonight. Maybe I'll start Jack. next week. I'm in to work tonight. Hello? Hi. Yeah, I was just calling to say that uh, I don't think I'm going to make it into work tonight. Who is this? I see you've already... Huh? Uh, this is Jack. 
This is Jack. I was supposed to start tonight, but it seems like you've got enough people there, so I'm just going to stay home and watch Netflix. Okay. Good. I'm in the room and my trousers are soaked through and through and I've made a mess in the, in the bed. Oh, what am I to do, dear? What am I to do? Sorry, could you hold on for a minute? I cannot understand a single word of you. Oh, yes, you dear. I'll wait for you. Sorry? Yes. Hello there, Ben Jones. How are you doing tonight? Sorry, ma'am. I cannot understand a single word. Ben Chowd. Ben Chowd, how are you? Ma'am, ma'am, take a deep breath. Yes. And take it slowly. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got, I've got something in my throat. Hold on a moment. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's going on here? My grandma, give me the phone. Hey. Who's this? Sorry, this is Motor 6 Ardmore. Is this Ben Chode at the front no. desk? No. I, no. Well, here, let me give the phone to my brother, Dwayne. Dwayne, take the phone, would you? Maybe you can figure this out. Hey, how's it going, bro? Have you seen any criminals in there? This is, uh, <laughs> this, this is Dwight the Bounty Hunter. You got any fucking criminals in there I can come in and bust? Without any no. warrants? No, sir. We're, lo we're looking for this uh, this transsexual uh, called Ben. Uh, his first name is Ben. The last name is Chod. Ben Chod. No. Sorry? I'm looking for this uh, fugitive Ben Chod. Uh, no, sir. I we didn't have any guest until now. Okay. He may, he may be checked in under his mother's name, uh, Mara Chod. It's not... Uh, what do you mean? Huh? What? You've seen him. <laughs> Y'all want it. What did I do to help you? Hello? <laughs> Hello? What? Hello? Oh, fuck yourself! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are yes, you sir. tired? Are you not... Excuse me, sir. I'm going to stop that voice right now. My name is Christopher Hansen with Dateline Embassy. Are you exposing yourself to that young toilet right now? Supervisor Vardmore, can I help you? Hold on one second. I need to merge my brother into this call because we got a little oh, beer I got. Hello? 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 Hold on one second. I got to push a button here. Thank you for holding. Your call is in the queue and will be answered in the order it was received. Hey, thank you for holding, sir. I uh, just wanted to check with you real quick. How long have you been suffering from sleep apnea? <laughs> Hour of show left. Hey, Connor Lodge, Hello? may I help you? Hi, I need to make a... Well, first off, do you have any vacancies uh, this week? Which day this week? Uh, t well, tomorrow. Starting uh -huh. tomorrow. Uh huh. And uh -huh. can you give me about um, ten minutes? Can you give me I just about ten minutes, so I can just yeah, cause I just walked yeah, in the just, door. I just walked in the door. Yeah. Uh huh. So call back yeah, in about uh -huh. ten so minutes. Yeah. Call back. Okay. About ten minutes. Uh huh. Bye bye. Uh huh. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye bye. <laughs> Good evening, Friendship Inn. May I help you? Good evening. Hi. Can I? All right, guys, put your, put, put your poker chips down. All right, put All them right. down. I, I've, I've got a 50 bet on this, that she's not educated over a 10th grade level. Are we doing over or under on this? Uh, over. Uh, over? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this, I swear to over, God. Over, right, over. Oh, my God. Hello, Good evening, ma'am. Sorry, we were trying... We we were trying to guess. Uh, we were betting on your intelligence level, your level of education. By the way, you answered the phone. Chaps, chaps. I bet you that I can take a lady from the lowest titer of life and make her a gentleman. 
All right, Tom. Oh, are, we doing, are, we, are we doing trading places again? Hey, every woman that's a CEO. Oh, yeah. We have a stick. Help you. Hey, how long did it take you to sleep your way to the top? I'm sorry? How long did it take for you to sleep your way to the top? Uh, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about, sir. To the, to the top bunk when you were growing up as a child, like how many sleeps? <laughs> I didn't have a top bunk, sorry. You didn't? You, you didn't? I'm, I'm sorry. Everybody should experience bunk beds. Did you experience bunk beds at, uh, in college, maybe? No, sure didn't. Okay, well, what we're trying to figure out is because we're in our room right now and we're trying to build bunk beds with the two beds that are in here, but they don't have any posts. <laughs> So that's the problem that we're having. We're trying to find somebody that has some type of engineering degree in bunk bed ease. Oh I was no. gonna take the leg the I was gonna take the legs off the dresser. Yeah. Is that okay? In the chairs. In the chairs <laughs> in here too. He's he's already taken the legs and the arms off of the dresser. Oh. Or I'm off, sorry, off the chairs. Oh, okay. I'll I'll Are be you I'll here? be blunt I'll be blunt with you. Well no, yeah, yeah, we're here, but I'll be blunt with you. We've both been drinking and we just finished watching Step Brothers for like the sixth oh, time yes. tonight. So I, he's over here yelling about so many, yeah, he's over <laughs> here yelling about so many activities. I'm like, what activity? <laughs> but he's not. He's like a dog with a bone. So now, like, oh. we've got part of the chair taken apart. He's taking oh, no. he's taking the shower head off, and he's oh, got no. the piping from the shower head, and he's taping it. He's got gorilla duct tape. Oh, good I'm Lord. making a fountain. <laughs> well, this he, is he, a, he keeps, a, he keeps telling me that I'm Dale. Well, he keeps telling me I'm Dale and that he's Brennan, but I'm clearly Brennan because he's the curly-headed <laughs> fuck, not me. Oh. Mm, you're getting top bunk. And he, he's, 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 he's lazy. He's lazy, and he's trying to have oh, sex wow. with my mom. So that's, what, that's, why, that's, why, that's why he's Dale. <laughs> well, I have to say, this is the most, ex most uh, amusing phone call I've gotten today. <laughs> Well, it's not. It's not meant to be really amusing, <laughs> per, per se. Um, mm -hmm. Hang on. Uh, hey, if you're gonna drill the support hole, you gotta do it over there because that's where mm -hmm. we're gonna. The bed sheets gotta come apart and be strung over there. They gotta support. I'm trying to make a canopy. <laughs> like I'm stretching the sheet above well, the post. He went. To, he went to engineering at Yale, not Harvard, oh, like me. No. That's why he's a lower. Yeah, that's why he's a lower class human being. Oh. <laughs> Just he, so hard to he tell. Went to rape, don't he, break anything. <laughs> he went. He went to rape oh. you. No, okay. we broke everything. Actually, <laughs> uh, that's why I'm calling. <laughs> yeah. So we took the mirror. I think you hit something. Oh no! Well, yeah, I had to something. redo the electrical in the room, and oh, no. I just I just started drilling holes in the wall so so I can find the wire. Yeah, he did hit the electricity. There's a oh. yeah. It's like yeah. I was gonna okay. I'm gonna put the electrical wires inside the water pipes because I need to route them. Yeah. Okay. You were, this well, isn't going to gonna the cost more for the room, is it? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> if this is for real. Oh, no, there's, <laughs> I hear a shark. I think the water, I think there's a shark coming out of the pipes now. Oh, no. Well, enjoy that shark. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh no! Uh, I'll never stay here again. There's no, sharks here. No, 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 I'm gonna go on Yelp and say there's sharks in the water here. You'll never have another guest here with all this shark-infested room waters. Because you know, guests, the first thing they do in a hotel is take a bath in a tub that probably hasn't been scrubbed clean in 2000 years. Oh. Yeah, I took a hobo bath in the I took a hobo bath in the ice maker. Oh no. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, oh, is I guess there it, anything I, guess I can be a hobo do for Eskimo. It was a hobo Esk it was a hobo Eskimo bath. <laughs> yeah, he rubs ice all over his chest and then his nipples get hard. Yeah, my di my my dick neck balls. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, if there is not anything I can help you with tonight, I'm going to have to let you go. I have guests to check in. No, wow. I, no, ma'am. We, we put enough into our spank bank. I think we'll be good for the night. Okay. All right. We all have a good night. All right. Did you, did, can you just um, say touch it real touch quick it before real you quick. hang up? Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Hello? Thank you for calling Sleep In. How can I help you? Hi. Sleep in. How can I'm, I help uh, you? Having, I'm having trouble. So I'm, I'm gonna. I might sleep in tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna need a wake up call. Okay. For what room? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Okay. No. For what time? Uh, six thirty a.m. Okay. Now, if you if you call, I'll only wake up if you play marching band music. I don't wake up to anything else. Okay, so I don't Do have, have any, anybody like, in house in two fifteen. So are you sure it's two fifteen? Oh wait, maybe I got it backwards. Um, no, I think it's uh, two fifty one. Yeah. We don't have a room two fifty one. I don't know what room I'm in. Bed in. Look at Dan's in Switzerland, City, Oklahoma. May I help you? How do you have you a bed? Swear, did she just swear at me in Spanish? I'm sorry, I can't hear La you. Quinta. La Quinta. La Quinta in? La 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 quinta. Did you, la, 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 did you just call me a pendeja? No, she called you a Hello? La Quinta. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm la, la Hello? Quinto? Yeah, that's it. This, this is La Quinta Inns in Suites of Elk City. She did it again. He's, I'm he's sorry, a man, I'm sorry. so you have to call. Yeah, are he's a, a man, so you have you to call him La Quinta. La Quinta. Señor La Quinta. Yeah, you, mis, you misgendered me, ma'am. That's like the I worst thing you I'm could sorry, do right I'm now. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't hear I can't you. Hear there's, you. An there's an awful, bad, bad bathroom noise. Your mother noise. sucks cocks in hell. There's an awful bathroom noise? I'm sorry. Oh, I was... oh we can make that happen. Hang on. He said there oh, was the an awful, awful bathroom noise. There you go. Oh, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. Oh, yeah. It's coming out of my ass. Noise. Oh, Mystical, mysterious. Hey, Paul, nurse is best value yeah. in. It's Dan. Hi. Hi, Stan. Me and my brother here. I have him on the phone with me. We're having a mysterious, mystical uh, situation in the room. We were... Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's some people outside, and they're yelling and screaming about things. I don't okay, what room are you in? They're saying. Well, All I'm right, in the bathroom, the... and he's in the bedroom. And I'm uh, deficient in the sight. My glasses right. fell into the toilet. I've been trying to get them out of the toilet the past half hour, and they're stuck deep inside, deep, deep inside of the hole. All right. And which yeah, room were you in? I'm in the bathroom. But the people outside, they were heckling us. They could see into the room, and they were heckling me and my brother. And I'm scared now. It's because you were showing your pucker again against the window, weren't you? No. I put my pants on this time. Hello? The cow out? Hello? America's best song. This Dan, I can't. You fucking it. devil worshipper, what are you watching? <laughs> what is this about a cow being brought out? <laughs> yep. 
Don't you scoff at me, you son of a bitch. Explain yourself. I thought I was staying in a family-friendly establishment, and you got cows being brought out for the fuckings. I would almost wish you were watching porn instead of this. Best time, what can I help you? Oh, my wife's having baby in the room. She came out of her ass. Western model, may I help you? Hello? Hello, can I help you? Hello? Yeah, hi, I'm in yes? my room, and, I, and I'm hearing a lot of weird noises. I think it's haunted. There's things are moving by themselves in my room. What room number are you in? I'm, I'm in 215, and the TV, it just moved to the side. It moved, and the remote, Sir, the remote, what motel it was are you in? I'm in the motel, the, but the remote control was by my bed, and now it's, it's on the floor. Hello? What room are you in? Hang, hang, hang on. I'm going to put the phone down and I'm going to go look, okay? Hang, can you hang on just one second while I go look? Hello? Yeah, hi. I was just letting her know I think my room is haunted. Things are moving in my room. She asked what room I'm in and I'm going to go look, but I need to put the phone down real quick. Okay. All right, hang on. We'll put the phone down. Your soul will be mine. She cannot help you. You will be with you, sweet. Baby, bye. Just baby, just baby. Wait Hello? Yes, hi. Tanta Motel. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. We're in the toilet room, baby. Can I help you? Yeah, hold on one second. I'm taking care of my baby. Okay, we're ready. Hello. I'm here. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Yes. Hello. Yeah, I, I, how can I help Hi. you? I could hear you. Oh, okay, good. Uh, the, the baby has become the devil in the room. Okay. I'm I'm inquiring whether or not you have a priest at the front or not that you know of. Like okay, a, good night. Is there a church Goodbye. I call? Goodbye. What do you mean? Where's the lady the nearest church, man? Uh, it's past midnight. You could call somebody, prank somebody else. Don't worry, this guy's a fucking heathen. He isn't gonna help us. He's a fucking dirty person. Good night. Okay, I love you. I got, I got, I got what? Thank you, Ron Santana's week. So can I help you? Yes. Uh, hello, I'm. Uh, the double amount of toilet paper in room 215 and I'm I'm sorry, I cannot hear anything you were saying. I am the devil. I am taking a shit and I'm out of toilet paper. What room are you in? 215. Man, this is an urban situation. The devil's asshole is in fire. Okay. I need more toilet paper, please. Do you 
want to spend eternity in hell with me because you would now supply me with toilet paper to wipe my two-pronged asshole? I'm sorry, let me put my Caucasian voice on for you. Uh, is it uh, possible for you to run me up one, if not two, rolls of toilet paper? What are we on? 215, you blasphemous whore. I will send you to the pit of Hades, along with my baby. You will be my babysitter. You will be... The trick is to just... Along with you, you on the train. Oh, give me the train. Hello? Yeah, you just keep plowing her, plowing in the time slot. Hello? Yeah, yeah, but she doesn't self-lubricate. That's what the fucking box says. It says self-lubricating. Hello? I just don't, I just don't understand. Oh, hello. Are you open? Do you have holes open for me to deposit my seed? Sorry? Yes, hello. Do you have, uh, do you have holes? The room holes? No, we don't have any rooms. Oh, what happened? So we are completely sold out. Oh, wow. So is it like a concert and people can just, they can come and go as they please? No, we don't have it. Oh. Can we time pass together? Sorry? Can I time pass with you? I'd like to time pass. Hello? Shutters Hotel, this is Haley. How may I help you? Hey, you ever had a whistle blown at you? I'm sorry? Have you, as a person, a human living person, had a whistle blown at you? Blown at me? Yes. No. Well, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> How do you feel about this? I feel a little awkward. <laughs> okay. But you did you got the you got the initial feeling right, like I was in your face and whistle went off. Yes. Okay, and how would you rate this one to ten? Probably a zero. Like, like zero would not recommend. Ten would recommend. Yeah, probably would never recommend. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend. Okay, and but what if it was your quote unquote soulmate? What does your ideal mate look like? Uh, My, what is his physical features? My physical features. No, no, no. The physical features of your what you would consider your soulmate. Oh, okay. Um, brown, short hair, brown eyes. Um, not like. Oh my god! Is, is my camera on? I'm sorry. Oh, I thought my camera was on. I thought you were looking at me and making a joke. Okay, so we got we got brown short hair. Where do we go from here? Brown eyes, no facial brown hair. Brown eyes. Ooh, wait, wait, I mean, this day and age, how the hell did that happen? Like, you're not <laughs> into the lumberjack beard or anything like that. No, no, no. Uh, when I, okay, when I okay. To, what about a goatee? Go, what, what about a goatee? Like no, no, no. You, when you go to what now? I said when I go when I go to get a smooch, I don't like the stumbles. I don't like the hair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But what what about like a three what like a three day stubble? Like um, it's probably gonna hurt stubble. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little painful. Can't can't all go right, all right, so we get... three days of shaving. Like three days max okay. and then you gotta shave. Are we talking like hairless like from the face to the feet or are we just talking face? Just the face. Just the face. Okay. And, uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so what are we talking about? You like dad bods? You like the, the tone? You looking for a swimmer? What, what are you looking for? Not too small, but not, you know, like right in between. Like a little cushion, but not too muscular. Okay, so basically if they're morbidly obese, they're out. Kind of, yes, probably. Not to be like okay. just, just, just because I'm a, I'm a small lady. I'm like I'm Ooh, a, okay, a four, okay. four eight weighing at ninety nine pounds, so I'm I'm a small woman. Oh, 
four eight. Oh, holy shit! I can brush my <laughs> beer on top of your head. How did you get to be four eight? How tall are your parents? My mom's pretty short. She's not even. She's not even five four. She's not even five four. No. Oh wait a minute! You're four. You say you were four eight. Yeah, and I'm done growing for my. I'm already twenty three years old. So I'm done growing. You're tw- oh, okay. You're twenty three. How long have you been done growing for? What was your? Oh, how do I? How do, when did you reach your height? Like your your, your my, top when notch. I, finally reached of my height, I was seventeen, and then I stopped growing from then. Seventeen? Did you were all your boyfriends always taller than you, or did you start like gunning for some of them shorter guys? Yeah, I went for the shorter guys. I did not like the looking up, and then, then when I went to go get a hug, my neck would be kinked, and I was like, no, I can't. Like my neck got to breathe. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to put the picture together now. Uh, now, are you currently in a relationship? Yes. Yep. I've been married for oh. about four years now. M- married, married at 23 for four years. So straight out yeah, of high school. We, then. Yeah, we married young. We're high school sweethearts. Hi- high school sweethearts. Were you pregnant or was he pregnant? I actually haven't gotten pregnant. Oh, thank, just been, is that by well, well, I don't want to say thank God, but is that by choice or yeah, is it yeah, kind of just? Choice. We were wanting to get financially stable and on our feet before. Oh, God, God, God bless you, God bless you. So, uh, like, you put was you put one of those uh, IUDs in your arm? Um, not in the arm. I just did the birth con- the pills. Okay, I know one lady. She she went to um, Afghanistan and she got an IUD implanted, and she swears by it. Yeah, I've heard those are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Ba- basically, if semen tried to encroach, uh, you th- you know where the you're a woman. You know where the babies are made. If yeah. the semen were to encroach on the area, it would uh, it would explode. Is essentially what happened. Yep, yep. It makes it the IUD makes it so it doesn't even reach the uterus. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a semen defense system. Uh, yeah. There's lasers. There's all. Basically, it codifies the semen from being able to continue on further. Yeah. And and you know what? Um, and if if you met the wrong person, let's say, um, have you ever met anybody that's been involved with the uh, satanic church? Okay, this is what would happen if, like, you got inseminated by someone who was involved with the satanic church. Child has just been born, and then uh, this would happen. (laughs) Is your mother coming over? God, you know I am when your mother comes over here. She never says anything nice about me and the baby. This is just ridiculous. And then, like for the rest of your life, you're tied together, and you're you're considered Saint, Satan's harlot. Yeah, I mean, I never looked at it that way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's really the same thing with being like being a Mormon. But when you're a, you're a Mormon, you've got to have have like your uncles, brothers, daughters, husbands, kid. It's it, that's that's even more messed up. Yeah, no, I've yeah, I do not follow the Mormon religion. <laughs> oh, the Mormon! Oh my God, they wear special underwear so they can't get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, they they basically wear they basically wear condom underwear. It, it's made out of the same material, same latex, uh, and it and it's airtight. And really, that's why um, why when they take off their underwear, they never have to shower because it keeps it fresh like a loaf of bread down there. That's why the Mormons were the ones that uh, that came up with the saying, uh, as fresh as sliced bread. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, no. Now, if you ever watch it, there's a documentary called um, The Sheet Hole. And what it is is they use, they use a sheet with a hole in it to have intercourse so they don't actually touch skin because they're afraid of fluid transfers. So the the uh, the sheet itself actually helps with the fluid transfer, but it keeps each other clean. 
Yeah. No, and, 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 and really, they're not allowed to um, purposely penetrate or create movement. So other people have to be there and they have to jump up and down on the bed or be on the sides of the bed and actually rock the bed to create the motion for the insemination. I, I don't know like if you remember what little, it's called. I'd I'd be, I feel like that'd be a little awkward having someone else jumping up and down, moving the bed for you. Yeah, I don't remember. It's called it's called mixing or soupy sailing, something like that. Soaking, soupy, soupy soaking or soupy sailing. Uh, I know it's some type of of uh, it's some type of semen jargon, uh, like from the old sailors. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I just watched I just watched that the other day uh after watching Terrifier 2. Oh, I, I was kind of I was kind of on a on a weird kick. I did not like that movie. Oh, you, you watched it, did you? Yeah, it was gross. Did you did you see the first one or did you just watch the second one? Because I just of watched because the of all the one. Yeah, all of the hype the about second. it. The okay. second. Art the clown. Yes, big old art. Um, did yeah, you throw up her face like, at any point during that movie? Or I did not put my feet down. I literally had them up in my chest the whole time. I was not putting my feet down nowhere. Oh, oh! You didn't get? Did you get nauseous at any point? No, I no. I mean, yeah, my you, kind it, of it was all marketing. Yeah, it was all it was all marketing. The whole the whole thing. Like I watched it. It just reminded me of like Machete, Machete, and Grindhouse uh, films. That like it, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I don't like clowns. That's my thing. I, I don't oh, like Oh, clowns. So you didn't want, clowns. did you watch It? Did nope. you watch It? Nope. Oh, yeah. See, when I, when I watched Terrifier 2, it reminded me of my uncle, my wayward uncle. But he always had that kind of, like, makeup like a clown. Like, because he was, he was, a, he was, a, uh, a, he was a, uh, a railway hobo, and he always had one of those bindle packs over his shoulder. Hmm. Yeah, he was a spokesman for Immoral Juice, and so they were they were really a low finance company. So when they always told him, they said, "You're going to be traveling by rail. You're going to have to go. You're going from Chicago. You're going to have to go to Minnesota." They told him to get on these trains. Well, they didn't pay for a ticket, so he had to run from boxcar to boxcar, and he had to uh, fetch favors from other hobos, and he participated in hobo fights. Really, hobo fights. Well, yeah, it, this used to be a real big thing back in. Uh, I want to say it was late '90s, early 2000s. It was on VHS. Uh, there was hobo fights. Uh, Kimbo Slice. He was actually uh, a big member. He used to fight. Uh, he was a, he was a big African American gentleman, and he used to beat up a lot of people. And he actually got a shot in the UFC, uh, and he did he did all right. But then he died of heart failure. Huh. Yeah, it's true story. Kimbo, Kimbo Slice is a, he's a he was a big gentleman. He was a bit he used to beat up hobos for a living though. He used to come out of Hummers and they'd be like, Oh, it's on and then they he would he would beat up people on the street and he would get paid and then he would go spend it on on copious amounts of drugs. That's crazy. He went by the he went by the street name of Downy Downy O. Downy O the clown is what he went by. Downy O the clown. Yeah, down, like Downey, like Downey uh, fabric softener, but mm-hmm. Downey old the clown. Like he wasn't the bear. He wasn't the fabric bear where he, you know he always fell onto onto the um, onto, onto the freshly laundered uh, towels and stuff. No, he fell on the rocks and he hit his head. Hmm. He worked for a he worked he worked as a roadie for the insane clown, clown posse for a time, and that's where he got his fixation of uh, being a clown. Yeah, no, I never, I don't really like clowns. So anything clown, I've always like just turned my head the other way. Okay, all right. And and if your your husband ever dressed as a clown, that's like instant divorce, is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, more more than definitely. Okay, because I'm I'm kind of I'm trying to devise a plan right now to make you. And I mean, I'm and, and I don't take this the wrong way. I want to make you single. So I'm thinking of like chloroforming him and then painting his face like a clown and dumping him back into his car, uh, just to start the divorce process. Okay. Okay. That's so good... j- just so you know, well, yeah, I know I- I'm devious like that. 
Um, I, this is part of my, my five-year plan is basically I was going to call a random number and I basically what, what I could do, how, how, how tall is the tallest guy that you'll date? Um, can't be much taller than me. So probably like five, seven. Okay. So I'm, I'm six foot three, but I'm willing to have my legs shortened for you. You better cut them off. No, no, no. Shorten. I mean, like, have some of the bones, the middle bones, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. They, they'll, they'll amputate some of the bone of your leg off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah. you know, I've actually contemplated this because I travel quite a bit for work. And inside of an airplane, there's very little knee space. There's no So room. I thought about having, oh, I thought about having the femurs uh, removed maybe 30% to improve my leg space. Um, and... It, my uncle, my uncle, or uncle is he uncle? He, he's some type of distant grandfather, but he had his lower legs blown off in the Korean War. Uh, so he's been kind of an inspiration of mine. Well, there you go. Following so listen, stuff. I'm I, yeah, I'm I'm willing to do some really radical surgeries. Um, I don't have brown hair or short hair, but I think I can have some type of. Uh, medical procedure. I will have the legs shortened. I will. I will buzz cut my hair every day. Uh, what? What? There was a guy. I heard a guy. This guy's trying to cock block me. Okay. So, uh, what? What? Okay. What about? Um, let me ask you about a traumatic uh, memory from your childhood. Uh, what what's really stuck with you since your childhood? Um, besides clowns, besides clowns, nothing really. Okay, nothing traumatic happened. An injury. Um, you got scared. You got lost. Maybe your parents left you at the Grand Canyon. And my dad forgot me at a grocery store once. At a grocery store, which grocery store? Was it Kroger? I don't, I don't remember the name of it. Did your parents divorce? Yeah, my parents are divorced. Was that traumatic? Eh, not really. Oh, did you love your father or your mother more? My mom. Your mom? What What? What made you like your mom more than your father? Was he abusive? Yeah. Oh, emotionally or physically? Uh, emotionally, physically, mentally, all of it. What a, <laughs> what a what a dick! I bet he was a Republican. Probably. I mean, more than likely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're getting to the root. Of, yeah, that's kind of a given when you uh, when you're when you're on that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to throw people under the bus, but we all you wear red. We know. Did your mother remarry? Um. No. No, no, that's a, that, that's a shame. That's a, that's a shame. Did she ever hit on your husband? No. Did uh, how how has the relationship with your father shaped your view of men and uh, concept of marriage? Um, I honestly feel like if they would have stayed married, things would have been worse for us. I feel like they did the best thing mm-hmm. by splitting up. Okay, when when did they divorce? So what what age were you at? I was four, five. So oh, I couldn't four, really four, four or five. Jeez. Yeah, I couldn't really understand what was going on. I just my dad left, and then that was that. Uh, oh oh. oh what was that? Uh, oh, I was just I was checking something. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I was checking something. So they divor- they divorced in 2003. Then, uh, about was that the finalization, or was that uh, when they just when they started the proceedings? That was kind of like the the final straw. They just kind of left it at that, and then. Well, filed. I'm glad to, I'm glad to see because I I did just finish watching the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, Netflix series that just because your parents got divorced you didn't start murdering people and eating. Well, I'm yeah, assuming. I mean that that's just a little that's a little. Mm-hmm. 
little too aggressive on my end. I don't really think that murdering anyone would have oh. been, you know. I thought you were going like, to say you were vegan been... or something. Well, no, I mean, I like I like my steak and my hamburger, but, I mean, I don't eat the human flesh. That's probably a little gross. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't season it properly, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be bland. Well, and if the person has tattoos too, I mean, I guess Jeffrey said that they don't taste the best. Oh, you know, oh, the ink from the tattoo. Yeah, it really depends where you get it from. Uh, if you get it from like South like South America is really bad for tattoo ink. Uh, you gotta because they put a lot of RF uh, ink inside of that. So they can actually track you almost like when you check in with Yelp or um, you have an ID badge and you're able to check in and move through t- like secure areas. Uh, they put that in there and they're ab- actually able to track you. Uh, that's been a whole big thing currently. Not really. What is the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is the worst thing that your uh, your father ever said to you? That I wasn't his child, even though I look just like him. <laughs> That you, oh, he was just trying to get out of child support. That's a fucking lie. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, just, just off the, the top of my head, um, what's the worst, uh, what's out of these, the worst pain? Spicy diarrhea or a bad period? Bad period. Okay. And, and what separates the two? Like, what is the, the spiciest diarrhea you had on a scale of 1 to 10 and then a bad period? I would give them 1 to 10. Spicy diarrhea is probably at like a five, and then a bad period is probably at like a thousand. A thousand, and that's with uh, uh, with some type of pain reliever, or is that untreated? Yeah, no, I have endometriosis. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, and how long have you had that? I got diagnosed at fourteen with that. Okay, and that's um, that's when. Um, like they grow, it grows. Uh, the the inside grows on the outside, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 I thought I thought that's what it was. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was a cooking term I had heard on Hell's Kitchen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, they cook with a lot of weird stuff. Uh, I guess that was edamame that I was thinking of. Uh, somebody there was a there was a person on there that like that's all they cooked with was edamame, edamame. Um, and I thought it was uh, the ed- uh, edromichiosis or the, the osis. I'll just call it the osis because I'm getting tongue tied just trying to say it. Um, so, did at this point in your life, did you ever think that you would talk to a uh, a perfect stranger on the telephone, fall in love, and leave your husband? Honestly, I probably can never leave my husband. Why is that? Uh, what? What? Well, never say never. Be open minded. But uh, what 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 is it that you think that would keep you from leaving him? Besides the violent temper. Mm. Nothing. Is it a money? Is it a money? Well, no. You just said you were you were getting uh, uh, financially stable before you had children, so it's it's not a money situation. Uh, is he controlling? No. We actually have a really no. good healthy okay. relationship. Okay, and he doesn't check on you while you're at work. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay, and how and how often? If he were if he were to call right now and we were speaking on the telephone, uh, would he lose his temper? No. Okay, and, and at any point tonight, do you expect him to assault you? Are, are you in a are safe, safe? Uh, space? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does he smell your breath to check for? I'm, I'm gonna say it. Does he smell your breath to check for dick when he gets home? No. No. I, I don't know why that came that came to mind, but that was the first thing that came to mind, and I was like, we don't really know each other. We're just starting our relationship, and so I was like, do I say it? But I'm I'm a I'm a straightforward person, so I had to say it. No, you're fine. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I've been called the best therapist ever. Um, some people mispronounce it and, and call me the best rapist. The, well, the rapist, and that that's not nice. That's mostly by school children 
uh, that, that when I'm driving past the playground and they yell at me because I drive a Dodge Neon. I probably would yell the same thing. Why? <laughs> to Dodge Neon. Yeah. I, yeah. I bought it off of a cheerleader. I bought it off of a cheerleader. They told me that it was a classic. You just laughed at me. <laughs> no. You okay? You scoffed at me. No, a little scoff, yeah. Yeah. Do I do I need to come downstairs? What? Oh yeah, I'm here. Well, I kind of figured. Yeah. Do I? I mean, I don't let people scoff at me generally. I mean, we had a level of of respect leading up to this point. Like, I thought you could have been, like, wife number four for me. I've already been through three divorces, and I've learned through them. I don't think it could be anyone's side piece. I'm, I'm not... No, no, no. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'm involved. I'm saying I've been through three divorces. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, at 65 years old, I never thought that I would be through three divorces already. Uh, I thought one time was going to be the charm, uh, but there's something to be said about a uh, a 23 year old that will go for a man uh, 65, uh, slightly gray hair, but brown still and short. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I mean, oh, I'm getting, I, another, uh, I'm getting I, another phone call, hon. Give me one moment. Oh, okay, no problem. I'll still be here. Okay. Wow. She'll never be back. I don't think so. She'll never, she'll never fucking be back. I think we're going to end it here. Uh, 